Absolutely. I've been teaching this county nine years. I have no idea which one of you I took this from. But it had to be, had to be one of you. Um, I'm Jeff Chris from High Brighton. Um, my lesson is uh, in a very lower, more uh, old-fashioned scale, similar to kind of what she presented a minute ago. Um, instead of doing this on the first day of class, though, I usually do this on about the last day of class as a review. Uh, the chart that I passed out, I could use that lots of different ways. You could use that. I, I show the, the president's videos from the History Channel, the little snippets on each president. You could use those to have the students take notes as you were watching those videos. Uh, there are lots of other ways you could use that. The way that I typically do it is at the end of the semester, I'll be doing this when we come back after the, the new year um, in a couple of weeks. Um, I'll assign the students uh, to get a partner and with their partner choose a president. And I usually just do this for uh, post-World War II presidents. Um, starting with Truman and going through George W. Bush, there are 11, so if you've got 22 students and they pair up, uh, it works out pretty good for each pair to have a president. Um, I give them time in class to look up all this information. Of course, they need to know the years that they were in office, their political party. Uh, you may have to explain to them a little bit about what you mean by domestic activity and foreign affairs, uh, but I just try to have them research and list the most important events um, and policies that were followed on each of those two areas. There's a place at the bottom for them to put personal information, uh, just background information about the presidents, things that they found interesting. Obviously, with Kennedy, you would want them writing down something about the assassination. With Nixon, they would need to be able to explain a little bit about Watergate. Those kinds of extra things that don't necessarily fit under domestic or foreign. And then I'll have each uh, pair present to the class what they felt like the most important essential information about their president that they were assigned was. Uh, sometimes I'll have these charts uh, taped on the board up in front in a kind of a timeline fashion so that they're going across so they have kind of a visual. Um, depending on the caliber of the class, I may write some notes on the board or I may just have the students take notes on their own on the other presidents as the, the other groups are presenting. And then I have a quiz uh, that asks them about these uh, essential events from Truman through George W. Bush uh, that I can give you a copy of if you would like. Uh, it's just a matching quiz. What I have found this helps with quite a bit is on the EOC in the past, it really helps students be able to match up the president with the policy or the program. Um, I found that this helps students be able to go back and, and correctly identify Truman was fair deal, Kennedy was new frontier, those kinds of things that they often get asked about. Um, this is a really helpful activity I found to get them to kind of get all that straight in their mind. So uh, I've got the quiz that I use if you'd like to take a look at it. I'm, I'm glad to make copies of it. Um, and it, like I said, you could probably use this a lot of different ways. And she gave me some good ideas of things to add to it, like finding a political cartoon that goes with these presidents or, uh, or doing something uh, in addition to just the chart. I hope that helps. Thanks.